Welcome to California. Now what you see behind me is the new ML. Of course, we've test driven it in Kitzbühel and our verdict, it's a great off-roader. But we're not here to see the same car again, but to see what AMG has done to it, aside from adding a lot of horsepower. The all new ML63. This is the result of what happens when AMG get their hands on a standard ML, the ML63. And this powerful backside really exudes sheer power. But there are other distinguishing marks from the normal ML. For example, if you follow me around the car, the first telltale sign is the V8 by turbo, an off-roader with over 500 horsepower. Now that, is sublime. The 6.3 liter V8 of course needs a lot of air. And another distinguishing mark of the ML63 is this giant air intake in the front. I mean look at it. It reminds me of a manta ray. That's the sheer size of it. What really gives the ML63 away are of course double exhaust pipes. And you can just imagine the roar coming out of these tailpipes here. engine. That's something AMG really excels at. This V8 by turbo with over 500 horsepower delivers the stuff we love. I love this little carbon detail and of course it has the name of the guy who built it. In this case Manuel Huba. The owner of this car will have to thank him personally I think because he's buying the perfect product. With a V8 by turbo with 500 horsepower of course you need good brakes. Look at these massive wheels. They of course have AMG performance brakes. So when you step on the pedal, you can be sure that it's like throwing out an anchor. You will stop. Once you sit down in the ML63, you immediately have the feeling you're sitting in a sports car. Well, you may ask why, and I can tell you. Have a look at the steering wheel, for example. It is Alcantara clad and it also has a flattened out bottom. If that isn't a true sports car feeling, I don't know what is. Secondly, AMG have put in very comfortable AMG sports seats. They are very snug and give you the support you need. Yes, they're very good. Now, I love what AMG have done with this particular model. It's all leather in a dark chocolate color. It looks really, really good. Never seen it before, but if I would buy one, this would be my choice. I've tested this car in its normal ML version, and I love the way the dash is arranged. It's all very clear, it's all very easy to use, and it's got all the electronic gadgets you can imagine and need. This particular model also has the off-road package. That thing is fantastic because on the monitor here, you can actually see at what rating you're climbing a hill, if your car is tilting, which wheels have contact with the ground, and so on. Very useful feature, and this car is very easy to drive off-road, and it will take pretty much anything you put in front of it. If you ever decide to purchase the ML63, obviously, performance is not the only reason why. You want ample space, and this car offers a lot of it. You can fit pretty much anything in it. Bicycles, skis, dogs, or even a lot of kids. And as you notice, this is my order of priorities. But this car is extremely well equipped and with 525 horsepower under the hood, this is the best way to transport stuff, believe me. So that was the first glimpse at the new ML63. Now, as with every Mercedes car, I can't wait to get behind the wheel. This one has definitely wet my appetite. AMG always manages to up the ante improving something that is already great and making it just simply outstanding. Until I get to drive it, we'll have to be a little bit patient, but it's time to say goodbye from the ML63 for now.